We can recently hear the word combination power failure quite often. But what kind of failures are there? And how are they different? Let's try to look into it. The first and most common power failure is brownout. That is short-term voltage depressions associated with a rapid increase of load in network caused by connection of powerful consumers, such as industrial equipment, elevators, etc. This is the most common failure in the power network. Such failures may result in overloads of power supply units, disconnection of devices, failure of electric motors, data loss in computers. High voltage pulses, short term, nanoseconds or microseconds, significant increase in voltage caused by closed light and discharge or supply of voltage at the substation after an accident. High voltage pulses may result in failure of equipment sensitive to the quality of power supply. Complete power outage is a result of an accident, light and discharge, significant overloads at substations. This usually results in data loss in computers and failure of hard drives. Excessive voltage, short-term increase of voltage associated with disconnection of powerful consumers or the total underload in the network results in failure of equipment and emergency outage of equipment with data loss in computers. Unstable frequency is a result of strong overloads of the energy system as a whole. Change in frequency in itself does not imply any significant danger, but it could lead to overheating of transformers. Thus, our power network has lots of hidden dangers for both equipment and data stored inside our computers. Both can be protected for all of the aforementioned failures by voltage stabilizers and pulse power supply units.